At dawn, there is a shooting near the Red Cross Field Hospital. In the earthquake victims' camps, violence is very common. No jobs, no prospects, barely hope. A young man has been injured and finds refuge at the Red Cross Hospital. The bullet wound in his neck is easily taken care of, and a bed is available in the men's hospital ward for further treatment. The patient is exhausted and falls asleep quickly. Reason for the shooting? Unknown. It does not matter. The Red Cross medical team helps, no matter if perpetrator or victim. Johannes is in charge of the hospital and constantly concerned for the safety of patients and hospital workers. The mobile Red Cross hospital at the former soccer stadium is a safe place, fenced in and guarded. Junior is chief of security. Unfortunately, he does not have good news. The situation is unstable. At dawn, Johannes assembles the team for a meeting in the food tent. The police have given Junior new information on the young man with the bullet wound. At dawn, he supposedly threatened a policeman's wife with a gun in an attempt to rob her of her handbag. The policeman was close by, in plain clothes and carrying his weapon. The young man did not realize this, and a shootout occurred. Knowing that the young man is at the hospital, the police ask for the patient to be handed over. Johannes invokes the Geneva Convention. He does not want to hand over the young man until he is fully recovered. Johannes refuses to handcuff the patient, but has members of his team keep an eye on him. The patient is calm and continues to sleep. The thing is, uh, this guy, is, he used to shoot people already since before. He's a very bad guy, according to what I heard, and I was also afraid to keep him there in this area. Junior is afraid that the young man plays an important role in a gang and that his brothers might want to free him using force. Many hospital workers are worried. Will the situation turn violent? In how much danger are they? How dangerous is the gang? What is the police going to do? Do we have to act immediately? Humanity or the law, which is more important? In our next episode, Johannes can do it. <laughs>